So whenever we talk about a liquid and a gas or vapor, so let's say we have a gas or vapor. Why do I say gas or vapor? Well, because this can be in vapor liquid equilibrium, but not only that, whenever we talk about, let's say, solubility of gases in liquids, we talk about gases. And therefore we need to talk about liquid or aqueous solutions. So whenever we have this type of uh, systems, so let's simplify it for gas phase and the solution phase. Whenever we have this type of cases, we have to know how we are going to be modeling them. Of course, the easiest approach or the more intuitive approach will be to assume that this is an ideal solution and an ideal gas. We have seen those before. Remember that for an ideal gas, it's nothing more than a gas or a mixture of gases that will follow the ideal gas law. And for an ideal solution, this means that this will follow the mixture uh, solutions. There will not be forming any enthalpy of, sol of solution. So actually the heat removal or addition will be zero and so on. But unfortunately, we need to also consider these cases. We're going to give them a very brief overview because of course, what we want to focus is on the calculations and design of the most common cases, which hopefully and thankfully is the ideal solution and ideal gas. But of course, there are other type of models which cover ideal solution with real gas. What does mean is essentially, instead of having a simplified uh, gas law equation, we will have a much more complex, let's say, Peng Robinson equation or a Redley Kwong equation or whatever type of real gas equation that you might use. We can also have real solution with ideal gas. So let's say that the ideal gas is at low pressures. So you can use the ideal gas model, which is this one right here. But the real solution will be, uh, well, the enthalpy of mixture is not zero. They will be forming activity coefficients and there will be very interesting cases in solution. And of course, the worst case scenario will be real solution with real gas. We have much more complex systems. And typically when we get to this part right here, we use computer models because the math uh, behind these models get complicated. So these are the cases that we're going to check out. Uh, we're going to start with the easiest one, which is ideal solution, ideal gas.